18 hours. The reception up in Pauling, New York is so incredibly horrible that it took 18 hours for day 44 part two, which is the video where I showed the dam building and the athletic facility to get onto Facebook. I tried to do it on my way home. Yeah, I'm actually home right now, in case you couldn't already tell back on my comfortable couch. My point is, it still took forever. And only just now is it recently on YouTube. So, there you go. Good morning, happy Sunday, and if you're running, if you're involved with the Wine Glass Marathon today at all, you know, good luck, have fun, run smart, stay safe, hydrate early and often, you know, and nothing no, else fails, just keep moving your feet. So, yeah, I'm back home. There really wasn't much going on anything on today other than, like, the farewell brunch, but honestly, that sort of, you know, give or take. Plus, I mean, it's over three and a half hours for me to get home. I'm better off getting up super duper early and just getting it done over with. I'm very tired, by the way. So, yeah, after, um, after I, uh, made yesterday's video, the, well, actually the, the second video yesterday, after I showed you the athletic facility and, you know, uh, everything else, you know, I went to the football game, TP1, with, over the Taft Rhinos, a uh, score of, uh, 20, 20 to 14, we missed an extra point, and they actually tried to score at the very end of the game, but, you know, our defense held out, awesome, bro, pride, so, yes, that is awesome, and, you know, last night, you know, more happy hour and, you know, cocktails and hors d'oeuvres, which is very lovely. Um, some of the hors d'oeuvres included, um, like, uh, little uh, crostinis with uh, sort of ricotta and roasted broccoli and a honey sauce. Those are very good. They took Tostito scoops and put shrimp ceviche in them. They were really good. Um, mini quesadilla points. Those are very good as well. Um, gotta have mini pigs in a blanket. Those are always very good. Um, potato tarts. So yes, it was all very lovely, lovely for hors d'oeuvres and for dinner we had um, a southwestern themed dinner. You know, there was like Cajun fish fillets um, and make your own tacos. You know, uh, smoked pork and uh, and chicken tacos you can make. So yeah, that was a lot of fun as well. You know, it was nice seeing some of my other alumni again. You know, seeing people from my graduating class and other alumni. I mean, that's the beautiest thing about Trinity Pauling. You know, when I was first there, and I've said this many a time, I met some extraordinary individuals at Trinity Pond. And it still continues even now because, I mean, I thought the, you know, people from when I was there were great, you know. I ran to alumni who were in the Athletic Hall of Fame. I met, you know, you know, donators and all sorts of great people, even some of the new faculty and staff. And they're all wonderful, wonderful, wonderful people. You know, always such a thrill and such a joy you know, to see them. It's wonderful. It's good. You know, you couldn't ask for anything more. And, you know, I'm very thankful that I got to go. And um, I actually met the new headmaster there. Uh, and just like everyone else, he's a wonderful man. And I said before I left, you know, it takes nothing short of a good man to be the head master of a prep school, but it takes a great man to be the headmaster of Trinity Pauling, and this, he is a great man. So if you look up Trinity Pauling's website, you know, you look up more information about the headmaster, everyone else, all wonderful people, you know, hopefully it will not be another five years until I go back. And I'm just saying to the good people of Trinity Pauling, if you need guest speakers, you can hit me up. Give me an excuse to go back. Just saying. Anyway, um, with that taken care of and out of the way, how about we get started with that time of the week? It's time for some more football. It is football Sunday. I get to make picks. It's awesome. So let us begin with the uh, with the uh, NFL picks. That I'll be making today, shall I? So, on um, the first, I this is the 
the Jets and the Eagles. Yeah, I'm picking the Eagles. That that may very well be the easiest pick I do all day. Quite possibly the easiest pick I do all day. This, oh, you know, there might actually be one other ball I get to that momentarily. Um, let's see. The, uh, see the, uh, the Jaguars and Panthers. Hmm. This is tough. The Panthers and both, both the Panthers and the Jaguars really have been throwing me for a loop the last couple of times. They, they really have. So, you know what? I gotta go with my man Christian McCaffrey. I mean, seriously, if you're in a commercial where you're running underwater, getting a 45 pound weight thing, you're awesome. So, you know what? I think I'll pick the Panthers over the Jaguars. That's a good pick. Okay. So, let's see the Vikings and the Giants. Hmm. Well, Daniel Jones has actually been very impressive. I will. I will say nothing but good things about Daniel Jones. I like that guy. I do. You know, he may be in my division, but you know what? You know, he's still a class act. Good on you. That being said, the Giants have a long way to go before they are any kind of contender whatsoever. Whereas the Vikings are genuinely much closer to that. So I'm picking the Vikings over the Giants. I'm thinking Kirk Cousins is doing doing a pretty solid game today. I think it's gonna be I think it's gonna be good. Okay, the Falcons and the Texans. Two more teams that have been completely throwing me off since I've been making picks. You know what? For lack of a better analogy, the uh, the Falcons are falling out of the sky. So you know what? I'm picking the Texans over the Falcons this afternoon. Ooh, here's, this is an interesting one. The Buccaneers and the Saints. Now, I mean, the Saints somehow beat my Cowboys. But the impressive thing is the Buccaneers hung 55 points on the Rams. The Rams. Unbelievable. So you know what? I'll go on to green. I'll take the Buccaneers over the Rams. I'll do that. The Tampa Bay Buccaneers over the New Orleans Saints. Now, oh, here's a good one. See, uh, the Buffalo Bills at the Titans. Now, this is a good test for Buffalo. I mean, they almost beat the Patriots a week ago if Josh Allen just, you know, played a little better. With that being said, this would be a good test, and they're at Tennessee. Now, the Titans are sort of on and off. Sometimes they're on when I don't pick them, and sometimes they're off when I do pick them. But with that being said, the Bills have really come far. I think they got this. I'm going to pick the Bills over the Titans. So let's go, Buffalo. Yeah. Anyone from upstate New York? Yeah, show some love, right? Ooh. Oh, right. I was looking at the wrong game. I'll get to that game in a second. See, the Card Cardinals and the Bengals. Okay. You know what? I think the Cardinals are going to win. I think the Cardinals are totally going to beat the Bengals. I really think they will. You know, Kyler Murray, you know, you know, my uncle's a Seahawks fan. You know, a couple weeks ago, the Seahawks beat the Cardinals. But my uncle said that if the Cardinals get an offensive line, Kyler Murray's going to be dangerous. He's showing off how dangerous he is already. And that's without an offensive line. So, yeah. I think the Cardinals are finally going to get a win over the Bengals. I think so. I really think it's going to happen. You know, I'm a Kyler Murray fan. I think, I think they got this. Um, let's see. The Patriots and the Redskins Patriots. I yeah, I'm 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 just saying as long as Bill Belichick and the Tom Brady are there in Foxborough, I'm picking the Patriots are they're shooing. <laughs> I told you guys I was tired. Um so yeah, I'm picking the Patriots over the Redskins. Don't know who the Redskins are gonna start as QB. At this point, I don't really think it matters, but, you know, that's there. Now we get to the part I said, ooh, earlier, and that is the Ravens and the Steelers. This is going to be a good game. Division game, divisional game. You know, the Ravens just recently lost to the Browns, so they're about as mad as Hornets right now. I think they got this. 
I'm picking the Ravens over the Steelers. I really think so. Unfortunately for you Steelers fans, without Ben Roethlisberger, you're leaving a lot to be desired. That being said, though, your win over the Bengals was rather thoroughly impressive. I mean, granted, it was over the Bengals. Still, it was thoroughly impressive. But I'm still picking the Ravens over the Steelers. Let's see. The Raiders and the Bears. Why do I even need to stutter? The Bears are going to win. So, yes, picking the Bears. There we go. Okay. So, the um, let's see. One of the games of the week is the four is the... Broncos and the Chargers, another divisional game, but honestly, I'm pretty sure the Chargers are going to win this one. So, you know, the Chargers are doing really well. I mean, as long as Von Miller, Denver always has some sort of shot, but overall, the Chargers have a more completed roster in terms of talent. So, yeah, I will be picking the Los Angeles Chargers over the Denver Broncos. And now... We get to the game of the week that I'm most interested in. The Green Bay Packers against my Dallas Cowboys. Let's see. Aaron Rodgers is... Well, I'm not even going to show you this. He's a tool at this point. Things are starting to fall from underneath from the Packers. You know what? I'm going to say it. Go Cowboys! We're going to win. Because we are the Cowboys. We're not going to lose Aaron Rodgers. Dak Prescott is literally, by numbers, Dak Prescott has outplayed Aaron Rodgers every single time they play each other. And only narrowly did the Packers win. Well, this time it's going to be different. Dak Prescott is going to prove once and for all why he's better than Aaron Rodgers, and this is the game to do it. So, yes. So I'm picking my Dallas Cowboys over the Green Bay Packers. I mean, there you go. Very, very pure and simple. And now tonight's game, the Colts and the Chiefs. You know what? I'm just going to say right now, I got to go with my homeboy, as Chan Sharp would say, going to uh, Pat Mahomes and the Chiefs over the Colts. You know, the game, I believe, is an arrowhead, so, yeah, going, going with the Chiefs. It'll be, it should still be a good game, though. Oh, oh. Lord, do I need to take a nap. I could go to Duncan, but then if I, then again, if I do need to sleep, if I fall asleep, I could probably wake up in time for football. Oh, sorry, right, um, yeah, a note on my computer just, just appeared. I'll uh, take care of that now. So, oh, darn, I accidentally got rid of the NFL picks I had in front of me. Sorry. Um, right, so, with that said, for a quick recap, for today... I am picking the Eagles, the Panthers, the Vikings, the Texans, the Buccaneers, Let's Go Buffalo, the Cardinals, the Patriots, the Ravens, the Bears, the Chargers, Go Cowboys, and the Chiefs for tonight's games. So, yeah, those are my picks. You know, agree, disagree, whatever, and, uh, yeah. So, I really should probably get to sleep right now, but I know I have stuff to do today. I'm in quite the quandary. I don't know why. Oh, dear. Oh, well. Just taking care of something I can do right now. Hold on. Um, so, yeah. Um, let's, uh, how about we, uh, yeah, I don't even know what, uh, is going on right now. I'm actually sort of watching the video, like, one of my videos of me popped up earlier. So, yeah, um, I should probably go to sleep right now. I'm, I'm very tired. Very, very tired right now. So... I think I'll end this video, try and get myself some sleep, maybe get a little work done today. Hooray. And, um, yeah. I have no energy left, guys. I am so sorry. <laughs> oh, boy, I need to get myself some sleep. Like, favorite, share, hit that subscribe button, follow me on the social media platforms, turn on those notifications on YouTube. 
I am very humbled I was able to make this video for all of you guys to watch and enjoy for today. I am hope you all have a wonderful Sunday. I hope my brothers of all ages and alumni enjoyed a wonderful alumni weekend. I most certainly did. You know, the good staff and good people at Trinity Poly, you know, stay safe up there. You know, let me know if you need a guest speaker. Hit me up. I'll do it. And remember, if you guys want to talk or channel, I'm always going to be here in London here. I'll always have your back. Take care and make good choices.